Brown Field, located 16 miles from Convair, San Diego, and just one half mile north of the international boundary between Mexico and the United States, has been chosen as the site for the second phase of the XFY-1 flight test program. The XFY-1, the first airplane wherein the thrust of the propellers exceeds the weight of the airplane, and the first to take off vertically, is powered by a muscle-packed turboprop engine. This power plant drives contra-rotating propellers, each of which is 16 feet in diameter. The XFY-1 airplane features the advantages of the Delta Wing, a design now successfully used on three other high-performance aircraft currently in advanced stages of development by Convair. The Delta Wing is used because of its ability to pull into the vertical without stalling. The XFY-1 first flew in June 1954 inside the huge Moffett Field dirigible hangar. For these first operations, the airplane was contained in a tethering rig mounted in an area of the hangar where the overhead clearance is 184 feet. These tethered operations permitted the safe simulation of free flight and afforded an opportunity to thoroughly familiarize the pilot with the airplane's handling characteristics. Here's pilot Skeets Coleman with project engineer Burr Carroll. Coleman has had extensive experience in helicopters and practically all American fighter craft. Let's ask him about this morning's flight. What's the flight plan today, Skeets? We expect to take off at takeoff power and immediately begin the transition to the horizontal. We hope to have this accomplished by 200 feet, at which time we'll start a normal climb up to about 4,000 feet. Well, Skeets, it's obvious that once you make the transition to horizontal, you are committed to reverse that transition to vertical in order to land. What preparations have you made to familiarize yourself with the technique required? As a result of about 100 odd operations in both the tethering rig at Moffett and the free hover operations here at Brown Field, we feel we know a lot about the handling characteristics of the airplane. Essentially, what is your procedure for landing? We expect to make a normal approach in a conventional flare-out. However, at this point, we're going to depart from the conventional procedure and take advantage of the lift characteristics of the delta wing. As we rotate to the vertical, the propeller will take over the lift and we'll make a normal touchdown. Excuse me, I have to go. The pilot's seat is adjustable through a 45 degree arc, enabling the pilot to fly vertically in a nearly upright position. No warm-up is required of the turboprop engine, which enables the airplane to take off as soon as the turbine is brought up to speed. The absence of warm-up is obviously a tremendous advantage to tactical operations. Visualize this takeoff in terms of squadrons in a ground support operation close behind attacking troops. No landing strip required, no warm-up necessary, no extensive base facilities, and nearly immediate contact with the enemy. flight and begins his climb to 4,000 feet. For the moment, this airplane has lost its special identity, except for that big vertical fin. It is just another good close support fighter with excellent flight characteristics. engine of 5,500 estimated shaft horsepower drives the contra-rotating propellers. The huge blades absorb this power to produce an excess of 17,000 pounds of thrust, which makes possible the vertical takeoff of the XFY-1. The propeller wash induced is sufficient as well to actuate control surfaces, even when the airplane is not in motion. In this airplane, as in the other Delta Wing aircraft, movable surfaces known as elevons attached aft to the wings combine the control effects achieved by ailerons and elevators in conventional airplanes. Although the pilot has never flown the airplane in horizontal flight, 
complete mastery is evident from the moment he is airborne. Control of the airplane in both vertical and horizontal attitudes is naturally and reliably achieved. maneuvers are desired in a first flight, the XFY-1 pulls away from the chase plane with ease. This is both the slowest and the fastest propeller-driven airplane in history. In horizontal flight, the safety of this airplane, with its radical design concept, is exactly the same as a conventional propeller-driven airplane. The important difference is in the takeoff and landing run. These runs are the slowest in the world, and the pilot can be safely ejected at any altitude over 100 feet. Compare this with fast takeoff and hot landing jet aircraft, requiring runways 8,500 feet long. relatively slow speed at high angle of attack, which is normal for delta wing aircraft. A conventional airplane would flare out at this point and cut power, but the XFY-1 noses up and with the application of power literally and actually hangs on its props. this maneuver would be executed has been confirmed. And now for the left down. operation completed. The practical application of this new and radical flight concept, witnessed today in the Convair XFY-1, brings closer to implementation the ideal of tactical air assault without the necessity for elaborate fixed bases. Convair and the United States Navy have begun a new chapter in the history of aviation. <laughs>